Hello you. This is Garfield Big Fat Hairy Deal for the Commodore 64. Look, I've had this since I don't know how long. Well, since it came, well, I got it second hand off a mate in school, so it's probably a year or so after it came out. Uh, yeah, it's it's a Garfield adventure. Remember Garfield, the <coughs> miserable fat ginger cat that liked um, lasagna and hated Odie the dog and Nermal the cute kitten and uh, you know, lots of witty phrases and things like I hate Mondays and sold absolute bajillions of uh, all sorts of merchandise uh, all sorts of books that as kids we read avidly for some reason I'm not sure why was it was Garfield absolutely hilarious or was it just, hmm, I don't know I've no idea whether Jim Davies is actually a nice person or has he turned out to be an absolute I'm not even going to say it, like, um, what's the name, uh, uh, Scott uh, thingy who does Dilbert. I hope Jim Davis is a nice person, because uh, he's probably rolling in money, if he's not dead now, I don't know. Uh, copyright 1978, Garfield came out, blimey. Everyone, uh, I say everyone, one of the popular things, in case you weren't around at the time, was um, a stuffed uh, version of, a stuffed toy of Garfield with suckers on his hands that you would stick in... Uh, uh, car windscreens, rear car windscreens, and all the side side windows, that sort of thing. So it looked like Garfield was in the car with you. But yeah, the eighties were a strange time, weren't they? Um, yeah. So you can't see that. So uh, there's the cover, and there's the uh, loading screen. Uh, but I'm loading off SD. Uh, so um, let's uh, load in. Let's zoom in now, rather. That looks about right, I think. Um, I've not played this in years, but I did complete it back in the day, and I have got... Uh, I was flicking through some issues of uh, Zap64, and I've got a, um, a walkthrough from April 1988, so I figured, let's go through that, shall we? Uh, let's put this so I can see it the right way up. But I thought uh, I'd load up the cracked, a cracked version anyway, just to save a bit of time, and, uh, well, to have it cracked so I don't have to worry about... Um, you have to um, <coughs> worry about him being too sleepy or too hungry. So hopefully this, this crack, uh, which says it's plus two, will mean that I can have unlimited health and unlimited... Unlimited... Uh, unlimited hunger? That sounds wrong. Ooh, let's turn this up. If I can reach the... Can't, can't get the volume. Zoom out so you can have the full disco effect. It's a bit more central, isn't it? There we go, it's got cracked from disc, plus two trained by Midfit for the Nostalgia Posse. 1987, blimey. Special greetings to yada yada yada. There we go. Coding character, Diddy. Music, Pry, NTSC Fix, Midfit, and Logo, ooh, unknown. <coughs> chin Chin. Unlimited food and energy. <coughs> yes, please. Yes. Hello. I have pressed Y. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm in for for almighty nostalgia. Shall sharp your pens. There we go. Let's zoom in so you can see. So that be Garfield. There, it looks like he's got his eyes closed. Or maybe he's just really sleepy. I don't know. Well, it's quite a nice uh, Garfield sprite, I think. Uh, music on or what's in the instructions? Music on or sound effects on. Press to F1 or F3 on the title screen. Anyway, yeah, supposedly Arlene, your girlfriend uh, with a great big gap in, the, in her front teeth, uh, has uh, been taken to the pound, so you've got to try and rescue her. Um, Caught to the inn, though. I wonder what day it is. Hmm. Garfield? What's that? Garfield, Arlene's been taken to the city pound. Hello, Monday. It must be Monday. Nothing good happens to me on a Monday. It is a Monday today for me, actually, and it's not too bad. 
I take the day off work so I can have a nice long lie-in and then I've had a soak in the bath, I've done Joel's breakfast and lunch and things, now I've come to um, do some filming for the afternoon because I never get time to do it in the evenings these days. So I've so actually taken time off work in order to film some games for you and also for me to play some games. But yeah. So uh, yeah, so not all Mondays are bad, it just depends on work, doesn't it? Well, I suppose you're, that's, that it's time to get started. Where's Odie? Where's the world's most stupid dog? Perhaps he could go to the pound for me. No, I suppose I'd better go myself. This is going to be difficult. John's even locked the refrigerator. I can't even say hello to the lasagna. I suppose I can't even get at his coffee while he's looking. It should be easy for me to find the city pound, although it'll probably be a lot easier for me to find some other places, say the butcher. Yep, I should be okay as long as Odie and Nermal, the world's cutest kitten, can help me, and as long as I don't get too many snack attacks. Oh yeah, yeah, if he gets too hungry he'll randomly eat something that he's holding. So hopefully that's not going to be an issue with him having infinite uh, food and energy. Hints and tips, Garfield naturally gets pretty hungry from time to time, well okay, all of the time, and there's plenty of things around that look appetising. Hmm. In fact, most things look appetising when he gets hungry enough, which is most of the time. But some of the objects are going to be pretty useful to our favourite cat in his search for the city pound and his quest for a way to get into it. Keep his energy up and try not to get too tired. Well, the cat's got to rest. But he's going to be a pretty smart cat to get Arlene out. Super sleuth look out, Sherlock Cat is around. He's about. And he'll have to use every ounce of his super deductive powers to, well, get out of the house for a start. Preferably with a full stomach and plenty of rest, but just because there's a good deed to be done doesn't mean a dude can't have a little fun kicking his favourite friend, or perhaps eating a little something. So get out there, do it to Monday before it does to you, and yeah, take it easy. Now imagine all that being read to you in the voice of uh, Lorenzo Music instead of me. Right, um, let's do sound effects. Because I suspect this tune, uh, the fun though it is, on loop, will probably get a bit irritating, I'm guessing. Right. Blimey, it's grey, isn't it? John could do with redecorating a bit, I think. Uh, right, so, first of all, get the aniseed balls, which make Odie follow you. That looks like aniseed balls there. Oh boy, look a few... Oh boy, look a few aniseed balls. No, I can't do a Lorenzo music. Right, and he's being irritated. Can we... Can we how do we... Ah! I, I kind of managed to do a kick then. Now I'm doing sort of walking on the spot. Hey! Stand that. Ah, there we go. Come here, come here, Odie. Hey! That's quite fun, that. Um, go to the left by the door. Dum dee dum dee dum dee dum dee dum. So he's going to be following me because I've got. Aha! Uh -huh, right. Oh, yeah. I remember this one bit here. There we go. He's following me around. You put the bone by the door and he's going. And he knocks open the cat flap. And we're outside. Brilliant. Uh, Odie now opens the cat flap, allowing you free access to the rest of the locations. Go and get the lamp and find Nermal. The lamp. Where's the lamp? Let's look in the house for the lamp. Right, that's not going to get annoying at all with the uh, Odie, is it? Hmm. Is there a chance to jump up on the chairs? Do that, because you're a cat after all. Ooh, can we go up there and... Uh, hi John, better go. So what, John doesn't let him on the table. And yet he was constantly on the table. But, right, okay, let's not do that. We're, we're looking for a lamp. That doesn't look like a lamp on the table. The fridge is apparently locked. And also an in... Who was that? Man, I love cherry... Hang on, that topped up my health then, didn't it? Does that mean I can get... Oh, no. I thought I was supposed to be... There's a... I don't think I want to go down a hole in the floor. Would there be? A... I don't think there'd be a lamp down the hole in the floor. Yuck, Odie's dish. Oh, wow, look, it's my security blanket. Oh, wow, look, it's my security blanket. And what's this up here? Hey, it's a biscuit. Right, well, we'll carry our security blanket. Out. Oh, can we jump from... Can we jump from there onto the TV? Yeah, yeah. There. What have I... When, I... when I pick this up, I... 
Hey, it's a newspaper, yawn. Right, okay. Oh, look, there's colour outside. Ah, oh, yes. What's that? Oh boy, look a bucket. Right. Well, I'm now carrying a bucket around. Uh, we have a trowel. Well, let's let's leave that there. Let's leave the bucket here. Let's go and see. I'm supposed to be looking for a lamp. What's this? That's a tin can. Wow. Okay. Aru. Okay. Let's try getting that. Let's. Oh, we've got a fire hydrant, and that looks like the front of the house again. Here. Health food shop. I don't think. I don't think he wants to go in a health food shop. I feel like I wanted to drop down there, did I? Can I? Uh... Okay. Can I jump over this? Not if I jump that badly. I can't. Uh, oh, there we go. Hmm, bit fiddly, but doable. Butchers, right? They did say the butchers in the instructions, didn't they? I suppose it would be nice if you could make him move a bit faster, but I mean, it's Garfield. He's lazy. He's not going to want to run anywhere, is he? And we're back in the house again. Hmm. What about through here? Oh no. Okay, that's that way. Go this way then. And okay, through the gap in the fence here. Go there again. Did we come through there? I I I I'm not sure where we are amongst these fences now. Alright, oh, we're back there. If I go right from this bit, because I went left there, didn't I? Is there anything over here? Another gap in the fence to come and investigate, but okay, no, we'll have to go through there because there's no way right. What's this? Hey, it's a lamp. Right, we have a lamp, we have a lamp. Right. I mean, it looks more like a torch. Hang on, I like. Uh, what, what happened to the lamp? What, what happened to the lamp? Have you stolen our lamp? Come here so I can give you a kicking. You! I bet he's stolen our bloody lamp. Or I've eaten it. For some strange reason. Get up on your hind legs so you can kick him. No, it did not want to go in there. I've gone in there again. Why won't you kick him? Kick him. Oh, God, that's it. Wait until he moves away. Okay, he's not quite... Can't seem to work out how to kick him. Or where that lamp's got to. Hmm. Did I drop it by accident? I mean, I... You know what, I'm going to quit and go... We know where the... Can we quit? Can we quit and start again? Because I... we need that lamp and... Right, fire up, walk and screen. Fire, fire and left and fire and right is kick left and right. Fire and up is walk into screen. Fire and down, use, eat, object. Did I just accidentally eat a torch? <laughs> okay. Space. Run, stop. Quit. Is there no quit in this? 
that that's that's a bit awkward really because um, if he's got infinite health and everything and I've just eaten an object that I need to complete the game with yeah good start Rob good start to quit F1 F no F5 uh, restore okay you walk yourself out press 5 to try again right Right, let's try this again. Um, that's good. Oh, right, okay, it was still paused for some reason. He's nicked the bloody... He's nicked the bloody aniseed balls. Right. Right, careful not to do fire and bang. looking for a lamp. Right, somewhere amongst these fences. Hardware store, fencing, butchers, more fencing. No, there's this annoying bit. Makes me think of trous. Sort of blocks like that. Right, in here somewhere, wasn't it? Um, was it up here? No, I think it was further over this way, perhaps. Oh, no, it must have been up there. And up in this one? Over to the right? I don't know. Somewhere amongst these fences. Was it up this one? Yay! Right, we have a lamp. Now, before we go and accidentally eat that, go get the lamp and find Nermal. Give him a good kick and pick up the clockwork mouse. Right, where's Nermal? These instructions are not exactly the clearest, are they? I Snack attack. I've just eaten a... Even though he's got infinite health and he's just randomly decided to eat... A lamp, which I'm suspecting is more like a torch. Restore. <sighs> hmm. How irritating. Right, let's... Um... I'm not finding... I'm not seeing Odie around. Come on, Odie, where are you? Is he quicker when he's walking on his hind legs or when he's... Oh, there he is. Come here, you. I don't know if he's it. A... I just dropped the bloody thing. Right, give me those, thank you. Right. Is it quicker going right instead? Right, let's go and see if we can find the torch and not eat it. Arlene ends up in the pound and Garfield ends up at the vet's because he's eaten a torch. Let's have that in case we accidentally eat something. We accidentally eat a tin can instead. No, really, this is wrong, isn't it? Hmm. There we go. Right. I have a lamp. I still have a lamp. I'm going to go through that hole in the road and see if... Because that's the one place I haven't really been yet. Oh, and there was the hole in the house as well, wasn't there? I'm suspecting we need lamp, torch, whatever it is. I've just eaten the bloody torch again. 
Right, you know what? I, I, I think I think we'll just leave that there for now. Um, it's been twenty minutes, and um, this 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 game is starting to irritate me a bit. In that, or even though I'm cheating, you can still randomly eat things that you need according to the instructions. Um, ha. Huh. Yeah, I, I, I think we might I think we might leave it there on that one before before my blood pressure goes a little too high. Cause um that was an annoying thing to put in a game. Yes, I appreciate that Garfield is a hungry cat, but letting you eat an item that you need to complete the game with especially when the item would normally be deemed inedible, that's um yeah. Yeah. So, let's, um... Before I feed a cat any more torches or lamps or whatever they are, let's, um, let's knock that one on the head. I'm going to play something else instead. Uh, you can feel free to watch something else and say, oh, yeah, I mean, you could always rewind this and watch it again. Or there's loads of other stuff on the channel. You know, the usual, usual gig. Or you could have a go at loading it up yourself and um, see if you can avoid eating inedible objects and uh, ruining the game. Yeah, how the heck did I manage to do that? I, I, I distinctly remember completing it. I don't remember a particularly fancy end sequence, uh, but I do remember actually completing it. But um, not this time. Not while I'm going around accidentally eating lamps. That's, that's very irritating. But there we go. That was Garfield, Big Fat Hairy Deal on the Commodore 64. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'll catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta.